Coming up on this episode of SHS News, Danny and I face off in the hallways to ask freshmen and seniors about last midterms and how they plan to handle the second semester. Do you have your ID on Invisible? Jonah shares his take on student ID stereotypes. We have those stories and more coming up on this edition of SHS News. Good morning, Summit High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Today is Friday, February 2nd, and welcome back to SHS News. I'm Danny Sanchez. And I'm Jonah Arline. If you're a sophomore, junior, or senior that is good with kids, likes teaching, and is looking for a summer job, you can apply for a position at the FLASH Summer Program. If you're interested, fill out the student worker application by February 9th and interviews will be held on the 12th through the 16th. Paid positions are available for juniors and seniors and volunteer positions are available for sophomores. More information is in the daily announcement doc. And now we go to Izzy Jean with a message from the Black Student Union. Thanks, Danny. Happy Black History Month, everyone. So the Black Student Union has some cool events coming up. We're hosting an SHS movie night February 15th. The movie is Creed 3, and tickets will be sold today during lunch for $5. It's cash only. We also have a Jamaican beef patty sale on the 16th. So mark your calendars. We're excited to see you all at these events. Our meetings are every Wednesday during second lunch, room 249. For more information, you can check out the morning announcements doc or speak to me, Issy, or our president, Vanessa Jackson. Back to you, Danny. Thanks, Izzy. The third quarter started on Tuesday this week, and that can be an opportunity for a fresh start for students who have a track record of forgetting their IDs. Jonah and Mrs. Baskerville bring us a friendly reminder about proper ID etiquette. Hi, I'm Ms. Baskerville, or as most of you know, the teacher that's always checking for your ID. Here at Summer High School, we seem to have a problem with students wanting to wear their IDs on Invisible at all times, as is said in the morning announcements. So here are some do's and don'ts to wearing your ID around the high school. Number one, the runner. Number two, the hider. Number three, the ignore. Number four, the last second. Number five, the sticker collector. And my favorite, number six, the right way. See, that wasn't so hard. So whether you're walking down my hallway or anywhere else in the school, your ID should be on and visible. Next Friday, the language departments, art classes, and band are putting together a multicultural parade during the lunchbox, complete with entertainment, costumes, and incredible music. Latin jazz and classical percussionist Rolando Morales, known for his conduction of Broadway's The Lion King, will visit the school to participate in the parade. It will be the experience of a lifetime, so don't miss it. I surely won't. And now we have a reminder from the student council. Make sure to participate in Name That Tune contest today. If you weren't able to get to the first song, which was Vivir La Vida by Mark Anthony, make sure you're listening in for the second one. Remember, you could win a Dunkin' gift card if you're the first one to name all the songs. Use the QR code on the screen now to answer the, do the Google form, which is also linked in the morning announcements doc. This week, Dane and I cruised the lunch box to ask seniors and freshmen how their midterms went. And even though we did get a few mixed responses, I think we can all agree that we're happy that last week is in the past. 
Jaden, how do you feel about midterms? Like, how do you think they went? Um, they went pretty good, to be honest. Um, I got decent grades. My midterms went pretty well. I did, uh, I think, 103 on my physics, so pretty happy. Pretty good. I got. Uh, I don't have to take any finals. That's clutch. The curves helped out definitely. Uh, I, good. I don't have to take any finals too, and I barely got an 80 on my psych test. So. Yeah, mine. We're not going to talk about that. Tyler, how do you feel like you did on midterms? You know, could have gone a little better, but uh, the semester two comeback's about to happen. Uh, how do you feel about the rest of the semester? I'm excited to eat lunch every day with my guy Jesse Leo. Probably just kind of getting finals over with and then the summer. I guess I could kind of like lay low and take a break. You know, I'm a senior and then, you know, I think we could just take a break from now. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, starting the football process for college and, um, I mean, for high school, basically nothing because I'm done. And a final reminder that midterms are over, so make sure to set those morning alarms and don't be late. Do you know why the broom was late to school today, Danny? I don't know. It overswept. <laughs> and on that bombshell, that's this week's news. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Sanchez. And I'm Jonah Arlene. Have an amazing weekend, and we'll see you next week.